What do you want to do with all these books on the table? Father has asked me to arrange them alphabetically in the bookshelf. Wow! That's an uphill task. But I can help. Uphill? What does that mean? It means difficult or tough. The earlier we start, the better. So what do I do? I think a good place to start will be to write or recite the letters of the English alphabet. Do you remember how many they are? Yes, they are 26. But why do I need to write or recite them? You will find out soon if you get the Scrabble box. It is true that you know the letters of the alphabet, but join me to arrange one after the other as we have been taught. While I pick them up, you say the name of the letter. We will start from letter A to Z. The letters of the alphabet are not jumbled up together, but arranged in an orderly manner. This makes it easy for us to know which letter comes before and after the other. Remember that words are formed from the letters of the alphabet and we learn to sound as many words as we can because they are arranged orderly. Every word that we read or say begins with a letter of the alphabet and when we have a list of words, we can arrange those words alphabetically just because we know the order in which the letters of the alphabet appear. When we arrange words in an alphabetical order, we are simply arranging them according to how the letters of the alphabet appear, beginning from A to Z. So, we will need to begin with all the words that begin with the letter A, then B, C, and continue till we come to the last word that begins with Z. It is important that we remember the letters of the alphabet on a sheet of paper before arranging any list of words. Let us take these words for example. Book, Apple, Examination, Church, Duty. If we need to arrange these words in an alphabetical order, this is how it would be. Apple, Book, Church, Duty, Examination. Now, looking at the first letter of each word, you would notice that the word beginning with letter A Apple is first, B book is second, C church is third, D duty is fourth, and E examination is fifth. So we have A, B, C, D and E. And this follows the alphabetical order. Some words begin with the same letters. For example, we can have the following words, afresh, addition. Absent, accuse. You can see that these words begin with the letter A. So we shall look at the second letters and arrange them alphabetically. Abuse, accuse, addition, afresh. The first word has B as its second letter. The second has C. The third has D and the fourth word has F as its second letter. So, the words will be arranged following the alphabet of the second letter of the words just as they appear in the order of the alphabet. This means we will have the words arranged as B, C, D, F as in abuse, accuse, addition, afresh. Sometimes we can have words that have the same first and second letters. When we see such words and need to arrange them, we have to look at the sequence of the second, third and fourth letters in each of the words, then check for which one comes next in the order of the alphabet. This helps us to arrange or sort them out alphabetically. Let us look at the names of people in this list and try to arrange them alphabetically. Dayo, Tumbor, Damenabo, Danjuma, Dozie, Nabota, Demo, Dakore, and Dema. Therefore, we can have the names arranged in this order. Dabota, Dakore, Daminabo, Danjuma, Dayo, Demo, Dema, Dozie, Dumbor. This is how words appear in the dictionary, phone directory, index pages of books, menu lists, and of course in the library. Now, let us arrange the books in the shelf following the rules we have learned. But these are books, not names. They have both the titles of the books and the names of the authors, so which do we use? 
Books can be arranged according to the names of their authors or their titles. Arranging books by their titles is tricky because we will need to use the first words without the articles A, an and the. It is easier to arrange books according to the names of the authors in an alphabetical order. Wow, it is a lot easier than I thought. Let us do it then. Test section. Arrange these words in alphabetical order. Bloat, boat, bed, beans. Is it A. Bed, beans, boat, bloat? B. Beans, bed, bloat, boat? Or C. Bloat, bed, beans, boat? The correct answer is B. Beans, bed, bloat, boat. In this section, we've been able to arrange lists of words in alphabetical order using the skill to easily find words in the dictionary, book glossaries and locate books in the library. Arranging words in alphabetical order means to organize words by following the order of the letters of the alphabet from A to Z. Following the order of the letters of the alphabet makes it easy for us to arrange a list of words or find a word in a given list. If we have a list of words that begin with the same letter, we have to look out for their second letters when arranging them alphabetically. If words in a list have the same first and second letters, we have to look out for their third letters when arranging them alphabetically and so on. We follow the same rules when looking for words in the dictionary, phone directory, glossary pages of books and for books in the library. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button, drop a comment and subscribe to our channel. You can also turn on notifications to stay updated on new videos on this channel. This brain friend video was brought to you by Sinforest. For more of these amazing e-learning videos, get your copy of Brain Friend. With more than a thousand e-learning videos, over 74,000 test items in more than 40 subjects, a career counseling guide, and many other amazing features, Brain Friend remains your foremost e-learning and exam preparatory software. Brain Friend. Learn better. Make excellent grades.